Hello and welcome back. This is video number four and this is going to be about spicing your content up. Now that you understand how to create great engaging content, the first thing I want to say is that we will be using Microsoft Word, which is compatible with both Windows and Mac computers. If you are using another word processing software, I cannot guarantee that it is going to work because this is a time tested process that we have used over and over again and this is what works well for us. So we will be using that. Second of all, once you have added your content to Microsoft Word, you can go through, use bullet points, you can highlight headlines and everything like that. But in addition to that, what we recommend that you go ahead and do in addition is by heading on over to a website called graphicriver.net, as you can see here. GraphicRiver.net is a marketplace that is filled with tons and tons of professional items like stationary designs, design templates that you can easily pick and choose, find the one that fits you and perhaps fits your audience most importantly, and make sure that you use it to your advantage. And this is what is going to help you stand out from everybody else who has plain content. Now, if you take a look under web elements and print, you'll be able to find a lot of different items that you can use to your advantage, such as stationary. So I'm going to open this in a new tab and we'll take a look at it in just a minute. And you can also use newsletters, magazines, e-publishing. So I'm going to just go ahead and open these up and even brochures. We also have access to web elements as well, but we're going to stick with print. And as you can see here, this is stationary item. So what I can do is I can do a search for a particular niche. So let's try dog and see what we get. So right off the bat, we can see that there are stationary and logos just for the dog niche. And what better way of making your content look more professional and more catered towards your specific audience by finding designs that are specifically made for that purpose. So if we take a look at these pieces of content, Envato or GraphicRiver.net, which is the parent company of Graphic River, will allow you to see all the images that are included. So as you can see, you can turn ugly content into something very professional. So we have logos, we have newsletters, we have stationery, and all sorts of really good design templates. Now, in addition to that, we also have e-publishing templates. Now, even though some of these deal with newsletters, we can still utilize the design templates for our content. Now, you'll notice that some of these require a program called InDesign. InDesign is created by Adobe, and you can easily get access to the free trial. And if it's something that you feel like you're going to use over and over again, you can always get access to that. Now, Adobe has something called Creative Cloud, which allows you to pay anywhere from $9 to $48 per month to get access to a huge suite of software tools without having to really dish out $400 or $500 or even $1,000 what it used to cost for every single one of these softwares. Now, to do that, what you can do is head on over to google.com and type in InDesign free trial because sometimes the URL changes. So what you can do is go up to the top here click download a free trial of Adobe InDesign, which will allow you to edit the design templates. As you can see here, some of them will require Photoshop. And of course, last but not least, if you do not want to download this software and you want somebody else to do it for you, you can always head on over to a website called Fiverr.com. And as you can see here, that is F I V E R R.com. And you can simply type in in design and you'll find a variety of people who are in design experts or even Adobe Photoshop experts. And you can simply hand the template to them, hand the content to them, 
And for five bucks or even 10 or sometimes 20 max, you can get these designers to simply edit your content within InDesign and get it to work right away. Now, keep in mind that if you use something like InDesign to create your content, then you will need to use part number two conversion tactic. If you use something like Microsoft Word, then you can use the WinZip, which is gonna be part one of the PDF conversion video. So now that you know how to spice things up, with that said, let's move on to the next video.